Inductive education is a holistic approach to educating a, those with a disability, a physical disability. We work primarily with a, children here in WA and uh, we're looking at challenging them and encouraging them to be the best they can be in all aspects of their life. We're teaching them skills that they haven't learned naturally in their course of development. So we're teaching them skills for everyday life. We're teaching them about communication, uh, social skills, self-care skills, uh, teaching cognitive skills and how to access the curriculum as they go up through school. Within the CE programme, we currently have over 50 students, ranging in age from eight months to 11 years. We have six teacher conductors uh, who have all trained through the PETU system. And we have three ACE teachers who are aspects of conductive education teachers who are qualified teachers um, that very much follow the philosophies and the principles of conductive education under the guidance and support of a conductor. And we have numerous education assistants who are all very, very keen on the work that we do and learn about our work and how to implement this through our daily routine. Her eye contact, her eye gaze has just gone from, from nothing to, to 100%. She looks at us to smile. She looks away when she doesn't want to engage. She, she's just so happy. She's just so giggly here. A lot of the comments from Sarah every day, as soon as we walk in, she's just smiling, happy. Um, <laughs> just like that. I think one of the things that really works well in Conductive Ed for Alex um, is Alex loves music and rhythm and Conductive Ed has that as naturally as part of the program. Well initially no, she didn't enjoy it very much. There was a lot of screaming and um, but after a little while she loves it and I mean that was one of the reasons that we continued from doing parent child to um, having her come here for kinder. We were um, originally told not to expect Alex to be able to sit or stand or roll or do anything for himself. Um, and it has been an extremely long road, but he can stand with assistance now. He can sit for short periods by himself. He can roll to somewhere that he wants to go to by himself. He doesn't need any assistance to do that. Um, so they're, they're the, the biggest changes we've seen. He's actually, it was never about what he couldn't do at Carson Street. It was always about he can do anything and we will give him the opportunity to do anything and he's achieved those things. He's always very engaged with the class and the people and the kids and he's always laughing and having a joke and turning around and when he does something good he's always looking, looking back at me for approval. And One of the biggest things is Amalie's desire to be upright. Um, she really wants to be in an upright position. Um, she's unable to walk, um, to stand on her own, uh, to bear weight. But when we're doing the activities, especially standing activities and sitting, she, she really does enjoy that and um, you know, she, when she's laying down she works really hard to try and sit up on her own as well. Physically, walking around, the, huge, the most massive change that um, I was reminded of a few months ago, when we first started the stool that I'm sitting on now, she was just rocking, moving, looking everywhere and within a few months she was looking straight at the teacher hands down, smiling, wanting to be part of the class and just sitting um, unassisted. I suppose from a physical perspective, she's much stronger than she used to be. Her um, core strength has improved. Her, um, her walking has improved dramatically. Her head control has improved. Um, she used to, when we first started, everything was sort of out here, nothing was centred, so she does, she's you know, good at feeding herself and playing with things in the middle. 
Her speaking has improved dramatically. Um, she can make herself understood to people now. When he first started coming, he found anything that was really taxing and visually or with his hands, hand-eye coordination and that really, really hard. And he didn't want to do it at all. He didn't want to engage at all. And it's always going to be challenging for him. But it's one of the things that I've really noticed is different. He's actually getting involved in activities, getting involved in it things that normal kids would do. For us, um, being in the parent and child class um, is a wonderful opportunity for our daughter. Um, I guess we're not in the schooling section just yet, um, but being able to offer that to our daughter so young is, you know, it's really vital to her, to her potential for development. Conductive Ed mixes explicit physical teaching of skills, of life skills that might be covered in other schools, but not as they are done here, all the repetitions, all the songs. Charlotte's always loved music, even before we knew what was um, happening with her. And that has just been a huge motivator in terms of her learning how to do all these things that a lot of regular kids can do. What was special about Conductive Ed is that they really believe these kids can learn and they can learn anything. And they put that behind what they teach. And you can see it in the way they interact with our children, the, the goals they set for our children, you know. Before that, I wasn't aiming up here, and after I met the people at Conductive Ed, I started aiming up there as well. I was always trying to convince some of his therapists and other people that were involved in his development that he could do something. They all sort of say, we're going to work on this ne next, and I'd be saying, no, he can already do that. When I came here, they were telling me things Alex could do, and I was looking at you and thinking, really, he can do that? <laughs> Conductive Ed has a whole different approach to schooling, um, as in communication, therapy, and I guess because it's just for kids with special needs, they're not going to be seen as different by anybody else. We were quite close originally, um, then we moved to Byford, so we actually travel about 45 minutes um, one way to get to school each day. And we do that because the gains that we have seen and his enjoyment of the program and in fact the physical challenges and educational challenges that he gets we didn't think he would get from the other schools that we looked at. Um, largely he would not get out of his chair at all at other schools. Um, here he, he has a holistic approach to his physical, educational and communication needs. Being able to speak to her, um, being able to feel that she's speaking to us. I mean, she's not verbal, now and then she is, which is amazing, um, but just feeling she's definitely there. She's trying to reach out to us, she's trying to speak to all of us, big sister, her dad, and that's just so beautiful to see because we just didn't think that was um, a possibility. Biggest benefit for me um, is being able to be involved in the class, um, and also taking the education, the communication, the therapies home and working on them as well, um, in addition to his other therapies. And just being able to see the improvements in him over the last year has been um, just been amazing. Obviously she doesn't get as frustrated as she used to because now she can communicate with us so, and she can make herself understood most of the time. If she can't verbally make herself understood, she's got her pod book and she loves her pod book. And so we get the book and then we have more to say and uh, she loves that. It's not only the fact that we can get in quite young um, and start really early <laughs> with her development, um, but the, the staff here at Carson Street School in Conductive Education. The staff here are really fantastic. They really do believe that our children have the potential to learn and they really have their hearts and souls into the program and into the children. Um, and, and it's just so rewarding, it's uplifting and, and such a positive learning experience. He can actually do things for himself. He's um, learned in a coordinated and, and fashion to um, be able to feed himself and, um, and yes, with assistance, but the fact that he can communicate, he can talk to his brothers and his family members, he can use sophisticated computer equipment to uh, tell a story or to say that he wants to go somewhere. Um, all of those things have been achieved because of the educational uh, opportunities he's had here at Carson Street and through Conductive Education. 
because Conduct Event, if you start it before school, you, the parents are involved in the education, so you can see what's going on. They give you skills that the parent can take home to work with the children. Um, so to me, that was one of the most valuable things because I, I know what they're... I know a lot about the program they're following. I can continue those on at home. And I think the rhythm and regularity helps him. And we're just grateful that it's here, that it's so close to us now with the satellite class here. We were going to parent-child last year. A lot of students have travelled um, for years um, down to the Vic Park class. And the satellite class here for the last three years um, means that we can come so easily. Um, I, I cried actually when Shona said that we've got a place here because um, she got so much out of last year um, and she's getting so much out of it here. Obviously parents are the primary educators and the first educators of their, their children um, so we really value the input that parents give. Um, our parent and child sessions that we run we encourage the parents to come along. Parents, carers, uh, adults that have co a close contact with the children on a regular basis, so maybe grandparents and so on, and we encourage them to come along and learn to work with their, their child um, so that they can learn from each other. It's very much at the early stages about the parents learning how to work with that, that child who has a disability. And um, from there we move on and the parents are constantly involved throughout our work and we encourage parents to come in. But as children move through uh, into school age services, we find that parents start to pick up the threads of their own lives again, which is also very important.